So before you go into your car or maybe when you're about to drive off and you're at the wheel, have an intention to get to your destination with safety. Set a little blessing. Be like, angels, clear the way for me. Let me have a beautiful journey on this car ride. Make every car move out of the way for me. Let me get to where I need to go with safety, with comfort and let me have fun on this car ride. Hey mystics, today we're talking about segment intending, which is the process of having an intention for every moment in your day. Being highly aware of the energy that you're bringing into each room, into each interaction, and within your own body. Having a very strong intention in life is knowing exactly where you're going, what you want, and why you want it. Your thoughts become magnetic. You access a different level of energy from the universe when you set your intention. And the most amazing part about this is you become highly aware of just how often you get distracted in your day-to-day. -day. We have such short attention spans and most people are so distracted in their day-to-day -day that they do not have any time to develop any sort of intention or thought, leading to weak wills and the inability to manifest desires. It also leads to unfavorable outcomes, things that you could have avoided had you had a stronger intention. So as you move throughout your day, you're gonna feel the power of your intentions building. You're gonna realize just how powerful your thoughts truly are. And you're going to see your ability to influence situations because when you interact with people, they're gonna be like, oh wow, she already thought this through. She already knows what she brings to the table. She's not just speaking out of thin air without any thought behind her actions. No, no, this person means business. This person did their homework. They know what they're talking about in conversations. When you move with intention, you're going to notice that you're willing everything into existence. There's nothing that you cannot do, be, say, or have when you have a strong fucking intention. So when are some different moments where you can apply intention setting throughout your day? This can start at the beginning of your day. Before your head leaves that pillow and your eyes are open, you can have an intention for how you want to start the morning or how you want to wake up out of bed. You can say, okay, I want to wake up happy. I want to wake up fulfilled. I want to wake up thinking about all of the blessings in my life. Maybe you live in a toxic environment. Maybe something happened to you yesterday. Maybe you have something anxiety inducing coming up in the future. Well, take a pause from all of that mental chatter and focus on how you want to feel in this moment. Be like, no, this morning I want to enjoy every sip of my coffee. This morning I want to pet my cats first thing. This morning I want to say hello to everyone in the house. No matter how they treat me, I just want to say hello and see what energy that brings. You're going to start playing with your reality and your intentions give you heightened awareness of each moment. So it's going to feel very fun for you. You're not going to be a victim of random thoughts that pop up. No, having a focus for your day gets rid of all that mental chatter. So you can set your intentions first thing in the morning. That would be considered one segment. Then let's say after you have your coffee, you wanna start work flowing or you wanna start doing a workout. You can have an intention for different segments. Let's say that your intention for the workout is to move at 70% capacity. 70% for you is it's not going so hard that you cannot breathe. It's not comparing yourself to anyone. It's moving while having fun. So you're like, yeah, during this workout, I want to move while having fun. And throughout the whole thing, you now realize that you're not guilting yourself for doing too little. No, you're going and moving with your intention, which is to move to have fun. So here's why you should be segment intending as a daily ritual multiple times throughout your day. Number one, it increases your awareness. You become so grounded in the present moment, aware of your negative thoughts, feelings, these mental distractions, how often throughout the day things are pulling your attention away from you and your intention away from you. Because let's say that you create an intention to enjoy your coffee. And then someone calls you and starts complaining about their day. And all of a sudden, you're not enjoying your coffee anymore. Well, now you're not going to get wrapped up into the things that they're telling you about and realize that your morning is being hijacked from this phone call. No, you're going to be like, hey, can I call you back after my coffee? Perfect. Close the phone, enjoy your coffee. And another segment could be, I'm going to be as supportive as I can to this friend on the phone. Wow, look at that, how you're categorizing your day, how you are holding space for all of these different intentions, which is increasing your own awareness and causing major presence 
for yourself and the people around you. Number two, this aligns you with your goals. If you have a specific intention for a segment in your day to read 10 pages of a book. If you have that urge to go to your phone, but you're only on page six, you will be a lot more inspired to stick with the reading because there's gonna be a lot of guilt associated with picking up your phone because you'll realize that you are not meeting your intention. You're not reaching your goals. So setting intentions means reaching your goals and doing what you say you would do. One of my favorite reasons for setting intentions, and I was doing this before I ever learned about segment intending, especially when you wanna have a difficult conversation with someone, you should always be setting your intention before having this conversation with them. So let's say that you wanna break up with someone. The intention should be, I wanna make myself and them end this relationship on the best terms possible. Now, if in the heat of the moment, you guys start arguing and things are not going the way that you wanted them to, the way you intended for them to go, you're always going to be readjusting the conversation towards your intentions, which improves your relationships drastically. Because now when the person who you're breaking up with is getting triggered and defensive and looking at you as the enemy, all of a sudden you're like, no, 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 I really want us to end things on good terms. And this changes their intention. Now they're much more willing to go with your intention because it's a stronger one. Whoever has the stronger intention in conversations is going to direct the conversation and the flow of energy. So the person with the stronger intention directs the flow of energy. This is especially true for podcasters. Podcasters, when they know they're going to be interviewing someone, they have specific intentions set. They're like, I want to talk about your new book coming out. I want to talk about the relationship that you were in. I want to talk about your new kids. They have specific motives and directions that they want to take the conversation in. And then you'll often see see interviewees being like, I didn't want to cry. I didn't know that this was going to, you know, turn into this, of course, because they probably didn't set an intention being like, wherever the podcast goes, I will have an open heart and I will allow myself to divulge everything and I'll, I will be okay with every emotion expressed. They probably didn't have that deep of an intention. So they're caught off guard when the conversation is directed elsewhere. But the podcasters, the interviewers knew exactly where they wanted the conversation to go. So think about this daily exchange with the people in your life. Do you have a strong intention for the people that you speak with? And is it in alignment with where you want the conversations to go? If you don't want a bunch of discord and chaos and disharmony in your life, you're probably going to have the highest intentions for the people in your life and the conversations that you engage in, which means that segment intending is enhancing overall communication dynamics. It helps you understand yourself better and it helps you understand the other person. It gives you so much awareness interpersonally. And finally, segment intending enhances your performance. Every athlete knows that visualizing an action before taking that action powers it up and ensures success. This is because if you close your eyes and you visualize yourself winning that competition, you believe that you can win it because you've seen it happen in your mind. I love the show Big Brother. It's one of my favorite shows. I love watching how humans choose certain humans over others, either to pair up with, to team up with, or to kick out. The entire premise of the show is that you need to kick out the weakest link every single week until you're the last man standing in that house and you walk out after three months to $100,000. If you're in Canada, it's $500,000 in US and to your family that you have not had any contact with for the past three months. Almost every single winner has said that they have visualized in their mind walking out to confetti. This is because their segment intending, their intention for being in the house was so strong, they only saw themselves as winners. They only saw themselves with confetti and with the prize. So segment intending enhances performance. So when should you reinforce segment intending? Number one, if you find yourself being a victim to your day, things are just not working out how you intended them to. This means that you are a victim of your negative thoughts or of the external environment and you need to ground yourself, ground your intentions and think about only this segment right now in this present moment. You will find clarity if you do this. You don't have to have clarity about every single segment in your day. That will come after every segment. So if you feel something that you don't want to feel, that's when you know you need to revamp your intentions. The entire point of segment intending is to feel more positive in your own body. It's to have 
beautiful, positive emotions throughout your whole day. Another really powerful thing to do with segment intending is to use this to create little blessings for your life, especially when you are embarking on dangerous quests like driving. So let's say that you're about to go into your car. Well, accidents usually happen when people are not consciously aware of the fact that they're operating heavy machinery. So before you go into your car or maybe when you're about to drive off and you're at the wheel, have an intention to get to your destination with safety. Have an intention, set a little blessing, be like angels, clear the way for me. Let me have a beautiful journey on this car ride. Make every car move out of the way for me. Let me get to where I need to go with safety, with comfort and let me have fun on this car ride. So segment intending throughout your day is going to make your thoughts more magnetic. It's going to make you more aware of yourself and of others. It's going to make your intentions way more powerful than the external stimulation happening outside of you. It's going to increase your performance, make your relationships way better and make you hit the mark. Manifesting your goals is gonna be so much easier for you. I hope you guys loved this podcast episode. If you did, leave me a review so we can get it out to more people. See you next time for the next episode. Love you guys.